everyone. Let's talk about some appropriate scapular and shoulder warm-ups before you hop on that bar. Recently did a talk at a ninja gym and actually dug into some research and found that when you're doing a salmon ladder, you actually have three Gs of your force coming down, which is three times your body weight, on each rung of the salmon ladder. So, I don't know what it is for butterfly pull-ups or kipping or chest bar, however, it's likely right up there as well. So, we need to make sure that our shoulders are ready uh, to perform. So the first one are scap sets. So when I jump up to the bar, I'm essentially going to take my hands or my arms and shrug them down my back. So those are scap sets. The second are going to be shoulder circles, forward and back. did not do a lot of movement on there. Then if we want to start getting a rhythm, we want to keep our core tight. We can do what's called a beat swing. It's called a beat swing because it's meant to go to a beat like a metronome. So beep, 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 beep. So it's consistent across the board. Also in those beat swings, if the coach were to say stop, you could stop your motion at any time during that movement. All right. Now we get into a little fancier. We can go some bigger hollow arches, which look like this. So essentially I go into my hollow position and then I snap to my arch position. Note that my lower body does not bend a lot when I do this. Where your body bends, your power ends. So try and keep a straighter line. Then we can get into bigger kips we're actually getting a little levitation off the bar on the back. And that's just a little tidbit of what you should be doing for your shoulders when you warm up for anything on the bar.